Well, hey everybody, I just got through swimming. Today is February the 15th, and the year is 2024. I did one mile in 28 minutes and 36.2 seconds. That could be a PR for this year, and it could be a PR for last year. I'll just have to look at it and see what, well, I can't remember the times, but I know this was, was really fast. And I really didn't actually go hard. What I done, what I did <laughs> was I went consistently with a glide, uh, a double kick, a single kick, and then glide with a single kick and a double kick, and then glide with a single kick and maybe another single kick, just depending on where I was with my heart rate. But uh, my kicks are really hard, and I'm trying to get an up and down motion out of them. I don't know I, if I had some way to have the GoPro and get in one lane closest to the wall, I might could, if somebody could hold the GoPro good enough to do that, I might would. I got this thing on my hair. And uh, I'd love to, you know, analyze my stroke underwater and see if I can do something to clean it up to even go faster. Man, I would love to see 27. That would be super cool. I'm gonna swim for at least right up until the, almost the end of March. And then I'll slow down, start riding the bicycle. But this year I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna ride the bicycle and I'm gonna swim also. So I may go for a ride and then come here after the ride and go for a swim and test that out. And then some days I may start with the swim because uh, one of the tri triathlons, they all start with the swim, then the bike ride and then the run. So I'm gonna go back and forth between the two just to see how it makes my body feel. See how many days rest I need after I go hard on the bike. Now look, I won't even be able to go hard on the bike for Let's say I start in April, April, May. By the end of May and the middle of June, I'll be able to go hard. But it's going to take two months of bike riding because I know I'm not going to go every day. Two months of bike riding to get in shape. Well, you know, bike shape, you don't even get there. You don't even get close to that, but you get where you're going faster. Let me say it like that. And then after July, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, by the time I get to August, I'll be in bicycle shape. And then September and October, I'll finish really strong with some centuries, maybe may, probably even do a century before before all of that, but somewhere over in, in the month of July, I might even do a century on the hottest day, you know, <laughs> just to see how I feel. But it takes to have all disciplines where you're swimming and biking and you're running. It takes a lot of exercising to get these, to time the peak I can time the swim pretty good, always about this time of year. But the bike, it just takes all summer long to be able to get a consistent, uh, sustainable 17 to 18 miles an hour average. Now, I know y'all going, like you really riders, I know y'all going, what do you mean, you ain't, you ain't getting in the 20s? No, I'm 62. And I, to me, that 17 and 18 is fast, especially if you're doing that over 100 miles. So I can sprint and I can do, you know, short sprints, which I do. I do intervals to get in shape with the bike. And, oh, I can, I can get up to 22, 23 miles an hour. But the kick is, how long can you hold it? That's the thing, but to get in shape this, this year, I'm gonna to have to do more sprints than I've done before. Like I say, I stopped and did CrossFit for two years. 
and uh, it did cross it did correct my back back situation to a point but uh, uh I'm laying off of CrossFit for a lot of reasons, but <laughs> for one reason, I just need to get back on the bike and back uh, in the swim and get it all timing and get it going good and still do, like today I'm thinking about after I, well, I ain't even set my watch. After I, uh, now I can't see my watch. Dead gummit. Well, I'll start it. And when I, I just won't go long in this video because you hear me already down stuttering. My speech pattern is is just cracked as hell. I really have to focus on what I'm trying to say sometimes. It's been that way my whole life. Mm. I'm more telepathic than I am verbal. I, <laughs> I have a whole sentence with people and they don't even know I'm talking to them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, they waiting, you know, they're waiting on me to, you know, finish. And hell, I done finished that sentence in my mind and went on to another one. <laughs> and so by the time I do get something out, it's in the middle of it. You know, it ain't at the beginning or the end, it's in, it's in the middle. But if you knew me, you'd understand. I, there's certain things I can communicate on really good, and it's usually uh, swimming, biking, and stuff like that. Here lately, I could talk about the Christ consciousness to a point that makes sense without trying to write a script and try to see the script and read the script and all that. But I'm gonna test some things about that. Yeah, I need to be able to uh, put my thoughts together a little bit better. Well, that's one reason I'm using Copilot, uh, Microsoft Copilot, to help me uh, keep up with a story that I'm writing about the Imanac women. And I also want to incorporate into chapter, I believe it's chapter nine I'm working on. And then in chapter nine, chapter 10, I want to start incorporating my story of who I am and how I got to be uh, at peace with a still mind. And my mind became still August the 17th, 2003. 20 years, I haven't had a headache. 20 years I've been in perfect health, almost perfect health now. Uh, if I do get a flu-like symptom, my body seems to be able to cast it off within 12 to 20 hours each, each time. And I only have had flu-like symptoms a handful of times, just one hand. And that's because I know how to heal my body. I know how to recover after hard workouts by speaking life to my atoms, my cells, and my DNA, to my mitochondria cells and my telomeres. And I speak that I am becoming that that I say I am with the resurrected power of the I am. I am taking on the physical appearance of that of a 21-year-old elite Olympic athlete specializing in decathlons, triathlons, crossfit, kiteboarding, cycling, running, walking. All these disciplines come to me quickly and easily. Thank you, Father, Mother, God. I go through that mantra uh, multiple times a day, and, and I meditate on the, the simplicity of my breath and, and include in how grateful and blessed I am. If you really knew me, you would know how, how so many miracles have transformed in my life from the time I woke up till now. It's only getting better. And I want to teach that to people. I want to show people that everybody can do it. I don't care if you're starting with being 150 pounds overweight, you can start. All you got to do is start talking to your body, start walking, start moving around, change your diet. I've been intermediate fasting for 15 years. I only eat between five and six. And I will snack a little bit, you know, with some good snacky snacks at about before nine. Try to and don't do it after nine, but and then sometimes I go, okay, I change that rule to 10 o'clock and eat me a handful of nuts or something. But um, look, if I can do this, you can do this. If you're watching this and, and you're watching my channel, you're here for a purpose because a lot of people don't understand what I'm saying. But if you'll give it a chance and listen and go through my archive and, 
and search for Christ consciousness, search for how to get in shape, um, search for uh, my church signs of the week, church sign of the week, buddy huggins, and you'll hear a whole lot about how I woke up to Christ consciousness. But that's the story I want to work with with Copilot over the next. I'm not in a hurry. Next few weeks, whatever, until I can get a really good rough draft for chapter nine and chapter ten. But I'm gonna go on that and let y'all. I gotta get over here and get me some sunlight, and um, I'll probably stay just to give you an idea. I, I meditated before I swam for an hour. I'll probably go back over there and meditate in the sunlight for another hour and just depends, might even go longer. Or sometimes it, something motivates me to cut it off and go short. But I just wanted to mention that to you. All right, y'all have a wonderful day. I love you. Keep watching my channel. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Make it uh, about what you want me to make a video about. Something like that. Talk to me, you know, text me, that kind of thing. Give me a message. All right, y'all have a good one. Love y'all. Bye-bye.